Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gale Reports. Today's video will be about Google Sheets extensions. And I want to start from Google Analytics for extensions for Google Ads. Oh, for Google Sheets, sorry. Why do you need it? Sometimes it's nice to pull data to Google Sheets before you pull it to Looker Studio directly. For example, if you want to merge your Universal Analytics data with GA4, you can use add-ons like Google Analytics in GA4 add-ons, pull data, uh, join them in Google Sheets, and then pull to Looker Studio. Or you can merge data with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, any data source, any manually added data to Google Sheets. So let's check what do we have for free. <laughs> Actually, this uh, Google Analytics add-on, it's free add-on, um, but mostly they're paid. Uh, we go to extensions, get add-ons, mm -mm -mm. Google Analytics 4. I used, where is it? Oh my God, I cannot find it. Yeah, this one. I tested and used this one, G Magic Reports. Mm, but as you saw, there are a lot of different add-ons that you can test and try to work with. Uh, when I click to add-on, I can admin install or individual. Individual install, continue. Uh, okay, I do authorization. Uh, when you install any add-on, you have to do this authorization stuff. It's necessary for Google. So I say, basically, I say to Google that okay, I allow uh, allow this add-on, this extension to use my credentials and pull data and connect to Google Analytics API using my credentials. And uh, add-on has been installed, and uh, we can find it. I can close. So now we have this G4 Magic Reports here. If we want to remove it, we go to add-ons, manage add-ons, and we can uninstall. Easy. So let's see what we have here. We, ha we can create new reports, run reports, schedule, uh, watch video tutorial, and donate, and help. We will create a new report. Um, you can see that uh, this extension created a new page automatically. Uh, this is our configuration page. Usually it's common case when Google Sheets add-ons, they have configurations page where they take data for API requests. Mm. And we have right panel where we can set up it manually uh, let, or not manually i mean using this tool uh, g4 day by day for example i want uh, g4 daily for example i want to call this dashboard g4 daily um, Actually, I'm not sure that I can use demo account as I remember uh, Google blocked this, but let's try. Uh, by default, I connected to my Gmail account that I used to open this document. And here I have only two accounts, my own website and demo Google demo account. I don't have other Google account, Google Analytics account connected to this email. But anyway, let's try it. We have Flooded and uh, if I cannot pull demo data, I will pull from my website. I don't think this is, you can use it against of me. Uh, then we have start and ed end date. Mm, for example, I want to have pull data from May till, I don't know, till yesterday. Metrics. Uh, here we have some different fields. What, for example, what do I want? I want to pull active users, sessions. I don't know. Mm, bonuses. 
I don't have bones, is I have bones right only. So as you see, not all fields that are available in Google Analytics for are available in add-on. Uh, there are two moments why it is like that. The first moment is API restrictions because some metrics is avail uh, they are available in web interface like um, competitors analytics in Google Ads. You can see this data and compare your website with competitors in the web interface, but in the API, this data is closed and Google doesn't allow you to pull this data anywhere and like via API. So some data is closed um, because of the API restrictions and uh, some data is not available because of um, connector providers. This is why we have a lot of different provi connector providers because some of them pull a lot of data. Uh, like I like to work with Supermetrics and Power My Analytics, for example, and I know that uh, these two guys they use a lot of fields, and I like to work with them. And um, but you have to pay for that. Uh, there are a lot of cheaper connectors, but work with them could be a bit tricky, and maybe they don't have all fields uh, that you need, all metrics and dimensions that you need. So this is two restrictions, API restrictions and uh, um, connector providers limitation. Uh, we don't have bonuses, but we have bonds, right? Okay, it's fine. Um, can we move? No, I cannot change order. Um, we can pull new users, but let's, I don't know. I think it's enough. We just want to check something. Dimensions, I called my report daily, so I want to pull date, and for example, <laughs> um, source medium, for example, first user source, first user source medium, could be. Uh, I know that first user source medium doesn't match with session metric. We can try to pull Mm, but more probably we will have an error. It's again, it's API restrictions. So in, you have different tables and if you try to pull data from two different tables, mm, you will have an error where you can find information in help articles, Google help articles, just reach some support articles, just if I don't have a better solution. Mm, what do we have more here? So this is our breakdowns. Uh, other settings, add metric filter. We can add dimensions filter, add sorting. And we wa I want to sort by... Oh my god, really? I just wanted to sort by date, but... Wow. Uh, it's not nice that they don't have some search box here. It's not comfortable. What do you think? Okay, time, date. Uh, ascending. Uh, I don't want to add more filters. I can click to create report. When I click to create report, I have data here. Mm, you can see that uh, column B now has a data, but I don't have other I don't need. Uh, I don't have other tabs um, and I don't have actually data in my Google Sheets. Uh, but let's see what we can do here. We have a report name, we have property ID, we have property name, started end date. Uh, we can use here some formulas like today min minus one. And every day we will have uh, this formula will be updated and we will have fresh dashboard till yesterday. Uh, same, we can use start date, you, we can update start date using formula. Uh, I think that we can use this thing as well. Uh, these parameters, like I can type yesterday. Um, so there are some keywords that you can use here. Then compare, start, compare, date. 
and uh, we don't have this we don't need it right now but you can add it so basically you can pull dashboard as it is report sorry or you can update some parameters manually mm, we have order by limit how many rows could we have and record so some parameters when we think that we are done we're good we go to extensions g4 magic reports and click to run reports and i think we will have error because of two things yep i knew that uh, reports configuration error dun, 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 and complete configuration so when we have error it's happened it's normal it's a working process um, the script already created a new tab for us where uh, it will pull data we can try uh, i think sessions we can remove sessions and try to do it again but i think we cannot use this account Analytics properties failed, or this property is denied access to API. Yeah, as I said, I cannot use uh, Google Analytics demo account for API. Okay, what can I do? Uh, if I want to change property, I can change it here. I don't need to create a new report. I can update it here. For example, this is my own... Mm, this is my own google analytics here i have property id and uh, here property name and i can run reports and in this case everything works we can see that uh, report completed and I don't have errors, I don't have duplicates and others. Perfect. Um, this is how report looks like. Mm, we have first user source medium, date, uh, our um, traffic, our data sorted by date, um, and have active users, new users, bonds rate. Perfect. So we already pulled data from Google Analytics 4 to Google Sheets, and we already can use this data and work with this uh, as we need. Uh, what can we do more? We can go to Schedule Reports, click Enable Reports Run Automatically, and uh, we can set up how often do we want to update this report. For example, I want to update every day from 2 to 3 a.m. Since this moment, mm, uh, this tab will be updated every night. Um, so, if you want to use this data mm, for your dashboard, uh, what I recommend you to do, because this data will be updated, and if you add some formals here, if you remove rows, if you do anything here, uh, when script will work, like we set up, like a schedule report, uh, during this time, all formals that you added here will be removed. So what I recommend you to do, create a new tab, for example, Looker Studio, daily and add here a link to your document and you can already name columns as you like uh, source medium for example i want to call it source medium um, kind of like this active users new users and bonds right uh, and then I just can add some links to this document B oh uh, and already here 
we can do uh, here already we can do apply some different format of data we can calculate formulas we can join data with other tabs and so on I add uh, I use uh, this data this range from B16 to B because every day rows will be added to this table to this tab and I want that they will be added here as well so I use uh, this uh, I don't limit the end of the um, of this range I think that is it when we create okay yeah if we want to create a new report we can create a new report and data will be added to column C mm, data will be added to column C um, and that is it when you run next uh, next report uh, you um, the script automatically will add a new tab and that is it so you can update it here when you create a new report you create it using this panel um, when you want to update your existing report configurations you just manually update what you need uh, I want to remove scheduled reports oh, okay save I don't want to update it um, I think that is it about this add-on Mm, just experiment my advice here just experiment don't be afraid to make mistakes it's normal <laughs> I did a lot of queries like that test with your account and that is it I really like this opportunity that you can pull data automatically from Google Analytics because in Google Sheets it's really flexible and you can do a lot of data transformation and so on hope you like this video let me know if you want me to record more videos like that with add-ons overview uh, because nobody paid me for that and just my initiative to make it because I tested different add-ons um, I'm curious to test new one there are a lot of new uh, different connector services on the market so I work on this market so I want to know different options how can I do my job and how can I do my job better so please text comments give me a like subscribe to my channel and see you soon